So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the correct way to assign a new seller assignment into Google Classroom, all right? There's many teachers that are doing it properly, so I wanna make sure we are doing it the same way so that we don't have any student errors and, and students saying that they are not receiving it. So <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is when we go to new sellers, we'll just go to new seller com is we need to sign in of course so let me go ahead and sign <clears throat> then I'm gonna go to the settings because I need to make sure that my classes are synced properly so let me go to classes so I'll go to settings then I'll go under classes and then make sure that my classes are being synced properly if not I'll just press sync and let it go ahead and sync all right, when this is done, okay, now I'm going to select some content. So let's just search for COVID-19, I guess. And then we'll select why everything is closing for coronavirus. So. I want to save this into my content number one when you save things into your content you get more options and more activities also let's change make sure we need to change the level to whatever level level that needs to be changed and then secondly we need to go ahead and assign this assignment so so we're going to select the sign and then we're going to select the class that we want to assign it to which is in Google Classroom. So we'll do first and second period, okay? After that, we're gonna select assign, okay? Now, not if, now we're not done. Now the second thing we need to do is we need to share it, okay? So after we assign this class to that class, we need to share it. Share where? To Google Classroom. Okay, select the classroom we want to share it to. Action, let's go ahead and create an assignment. On the bottom right hand corner, I'm just going to select go. And then we'll just name this assignment COVID-19. And then we'll say, please click on Lucilla article mark and then mark done in Google Classroom when you have completed the assignment. We want to make sure that the student selects the mark done at the end of everything in Google Classroom when they have completed this assignment. Okay. Again, let's select the period. All right, we have that. And then we want to do all students. Okay, I'm just going to do me so we can do a test. Okay, so go ahead and select assign. And that assignment has been posted into Google Classroom. So this is how the student is going to view it. They're simply going to go to Google Classroom. All right. They're going to sign in to Google Classroom and they're going to go to that actual class. So it should be first and second period. Boom. There is the assignment, new assignment, COVID-19, or they can go to under classwork and then select COVID-19. And then please click on the new seller article mark done in Google Classroom when you have complete. This is important. Once the student is finished, they need to go ahead and mark done when they're complete. All right. So first, I'm going to go as a student. I'm going to click on that link. And then I'm going to go ahead and just do the assignment. Okay. Do the assignment. Read. Read the entire assignment. And then... After that, I'm going to go ahead, if there's an activities, I'm going to complete the activities. And then when I'm done, 
I go swipe up, go back to Google Classroom, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mark done. You didn't attach any work, that's okay. Go ahead and mark done, and now this teacher will get a notification that the student has completed the assignment. Now this teacher needs to go in and actually give them a grade. All right. If you have any questions, email me at aaron.whitelaw at psgisd.us. By the way, it's important that students download um, the Nucella app and also sign in with their school credentials in Nucella so that they eliminate any errors as well. Thank you.